Hey there, I got a question. How could we do something like this in PowerPoint? So basically this is a tweet or a feature from a social media post and it's growing towards us when we have also a background. In this case, this is the same background as, as the actual tweet used. It's just resized, but we will use photographs, but we also could use the same tweet. So I've prepared for myself two tweets and two photographs and let me start the work right away and show you how this video was done. So at first I'll delete because I want to work on the background first. Or let me, for example, select a tweet. This is a very, very, very example tweet from me. Don't mind the content, mind just this here in the middle. So I'll put the tweet in the middle. And what was done in the video, you see it's slowly growing towards us. We can do the same effect in PowerPoint by going to our animation pane, having this selected, if you open animations, you have an animation called Grow Shrink. We can click on that and you see the grow is exponential. The grow is quick and big. We do not want that. We want to have a, maybe four or five seconds uh, for each of those slides. So I'll open my animation pane because I need to edit the Grow Shrink animation. I will right click and select the animation to start with previous. So it starts automatically once the slide is live. Then I'll double click here. I'll go to effect and by default grow shrink adds us 150%. I do not want any smoothing because I want the animation to be static. The same speed across the entire animation. But for the percentage, maybe 110 will be completely enough. Remember to hit enter to apply the changes and hit OK to preview it. Now it slowly grows. So 110% it ends about here. Perfect. In order to make this slide like more enjoyable to watch, I'll make the duration 5 seconds. This will make sure that this grow shrink happens for 5 seconds and you will not get bored because each slide will take this amount of time to play. Alright, this is it. In the transitions tab, I want to select after zero seconds, not on mouse click because I want the animations to go, to go, to go. All right, my first slide would be nearly ready, but I need still my background. So my background will be something very similar. In this video, we have the same object selected uh, and the picture is growing in the op opposite side, which means it's shrinking and it has a black overlay. In order to do this, I'll select any gun photograph. I'll send the photo to back, I'll resize it and I'll press my shift key, press my control key to make the photo bigger and I want to make the photo at least to the side of this slide. Okay, now I'll go to insert shapes, I'll insert a black shape. I want the shape to cover up uh, this photograph. I want to send it backwards so it's behind this tweet. And I want to select shape fill black if you want this black color and I need to right click format this uh, black object because I want to change the filling to be transparent. So now we have kind of the same effect as in the video. As you can see very similar. We could also use a gradient but let's make it simple. Now I want to click and drag to select everything besides this tweet. So I select control and deselect this tweet and I'll group the images in the background. So this way, the image and the black overlay are together. Right now, I can simply click on this tweet. I can go to animations and with my animation painter, I can paint the same animation over. You can see this is already growing towards me, but actually I wanted it to shrink. So I want to double click on this animation. I want to go to effects and instead of 110%, I'll pick 90%. So the problem is the picture might be too small and we have a white gap here. This is easily corrected. Again, shift, control, make this picture bigger and this is it. This is everything you have to do in order to create the same type of animation, the same type of effect. We could even lower the percentage because the 110 is a bit much. I'll go 105. 
I'll pick OK. And if we duplicate this slide, I just pick on this slide, Control C, Control V. I can give it any transition, for example, wipe. It uh, really doesn't matter. After the five seconds when uh, the slide has played, it will wipe out. So we have that transition and we can simply change the tweet by right clicking, selecting change picture and selecting from a file other tweets. In my case, this was shown some Simpsons tweet. Now I make it a bit bigger. And how do I change the picture? Actually, the picture can be changed the same way. You just need to double click, right click, change picture from a file, this time photo number two. If the photo is smaller, make it a bit bigger, place the overlay back in place and ready. Let me preview what have I done, how this animation looks like here. We have a beautiful growing here, uh, shrinking in the background. The next slide comes in and the animation kind of repeats itself and we have a presentation like this. We could duplicate those slides and simply change those objects in the middle. I hope this tutorial will be very helpful for you in terms of making such animations, such previews, such nice slideshows and if you are interested in what I teach you have links here in the exclamation mark on the right top corner which would be here above me or in the description to my online courses. If you like you can preview them and if you would like to learn PowerPoint with me feel free to enroll and we will see each other there. So good luck and see you in other tutorials.